Okay. Uh, today I'm just going to give you a little update on uh, 2023. Try to center myself in in the camera here with still being near my microphone. Anyway, 2023. This is my plans. I've been doing a lot of stuff with Android lately, and I want to share what I'm learning with you uh, so that you can learn, and also so I don't forget. I can always look up my own videos when I forget how to do something. Uh, don't freak out if you have no cares about Android. My plan is, for right now, is normally I, re re I release two videos a week. I release one on Wednesday and one on Saturday. And so my plan is, uh, I think every Wednesday I'm going to release an Android video, and every Saturday I'm going to release another topic, probably shell scripts or some sort of general Linux information. But I just wanted to let you know that that's my plan for at least the next couple months, because I have a lot of things I want to show you from, again, I love you know, messing with Android devices, messing with the bootloaders, boot animations, uh, logo screens. We're going to look at doing GSIs, which are generic uh, system images, which are Android images that run on pretty much any device that you can unlock the bootloader on uh, that was made in the last uh, four years or so, three years. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to go over that sort of stuff. But also, I'm finally get in the hang of some Android development. It's something I have tried to do a number of times in the past. I really had have very little interest in Android development because to me, developing something specifically for one system is just kind of crazy. Uh, when I write programs, I want them to run on everything. And uh, on my devices, I can already write shell scripts, bash scripts. I can write stuff in C or Python or Perl or JavaScript. And all this stuff runs great on my phones and my desktops and are cross-platform with other operating systems. And uh, I can even do GUIs. I Because with Termux, you can do pop-up notifications, toaster notifications, uh, you know, notification notifications. I, top, I said pop-up notifications, pop-up dialog boxes. And I can write those so that they're compatible with all systems, just doing a check on what system you're running on. Um, and and whatever programming language I'm doing, I can always output a GUI as HTML and make buttons and stuff without having to worry about, you know, SDKs and other stuff like that. But I really, really wanted to learn how to do some Android development. Besides, I've made stuff in Godot, and you can export as an APK for Android, which has been useful in the past. Uh, but there is still some limitation there if you're really wanting to interact with Android. Um, but mainly, I want to be able to one, uh, some of these open source Android projects, I would love to modify them. And I've never really gotten that very far in the development, so I haven't really messed with it. And part of the reason I haven't, and I've tried so many times over the years to just compile a Hello World script uh, or APK for Android. And I, I never, never, never uh, completed it. Uh, and the reason is... I hate Java. No, I, I I mean, I have nothing against Java itself. I just hate developing in it. Uh, it's uh, To me, it's a sloppy language. No offense. If you program in Java, I'm not saying it's bad language. I just, I don't like it, especially when it comes to Android development. And here's the issue. This is what happened every single time I wanted to just create a hello world for, for Android. So, so like, again, I could do bash scripts. I could do C programs, C++. I could pile those right on the phone, and they run like that, and I don't have to... You, you, do very much, you know, but you want you read these tutorials for compiling Hello World applications for Android, and it's like, well, first you need to download Android Studio and the SDK, which is like four gigs worth of files, and then, and then you have to download the, the SDKs for different platforms of Android, and then if you were, which, which, that right there, just having to download gigs worth of stuff. Uh, is ridiculous to make a Hello World program. And then and then to create an APK, you've got to create like five different folders, a manifest, a manifest uh, uh, file, then you had to create uh, an XML for the layout, and then a JavaScript file. It's like all this just to print Hello World to the screen is ridiculous. Um, and, and again, I would start doing this and just halfway through the download of like Android Studio, or even just trying to download just the SDK, which is still huge, I would get, I would lose interest, and I would just be like, forget it, I'm moving on to something else. I finally have it down to where I can download just the SDK. I even, I even, oh, I'm jumping back here for a second. I even found uh, examples online of writing stuff in C, compiling as an APK, but you still had to download the SDK, and every time I did it, it was at least... A, you know, hundred, a, a couple of gigs worth of files, um, the, the ways the tutorials all did it. I finally figured out how to do it and to get it under a gig. I want to say it's somewhere between, 
uh, the two numbers come to mind is 500 megabytes and 800 megabytes, which is still huge and ridiculous. Uh, but I'm going to go over tutorials on that. I have notes up online. I have a few different projects that I've created, uh, all with the notes to where you can down. Basically, I'm downloading uh, just the SDK uh, command line tools, which ends up being about a gig and a half. But half of that is an emulator to emulate Android on your desktop. And I so I can delete that. And I end up with, yeah, probably about 800 megabytes worth of files, which is acceptable if I really, really want to go down this route, which I, I just want to know more about the Android development and I want to share that with you. And these tutorials out there, again, they're, a lot of them use the Android Studio, which I have no interest in using, and yet they all tell you to download gigs and gigs worth of files. I want to show you how to do it from the shell without some unnecessary GUI uh, and without unnecessary files. So try to getting it down as minimal as possible using Gradle, which I finally uh, have started to get the hang of. And uh, so yeah, I've been doing that. And I even, uh, one of the things I wanted to do years ago, if I wanted to take one of my websites or any website and package it as an APK, there was the option of um, uh, App Builder? It was by Adobe, and it was part of the Cordova project or something like that. Anyway, I figured out, uh, looking at some example code and minimizing it, how to um, create an APK that is just it's very, very small, and you can package up a website like that. And I've played around with different options to where you can uh, you know, run scripts locally or through the web browser. Anyway, I'll get into all that. And I wrote a bash script that basically you run it, and it pulls down the template. Uh, it asks you for an app name, an app ID, the website. It tries to pull the fav icon for the app. And I've been doing that a lot. And, and, and the question is why? I've always, I've always been like, why would you install an application when you can just put a link to a website? And I've created a lot of applications on my website for myself for my wife and a lot of stuff for coworkers. And an issue a lot of people have is during updates, and I'm not sure if it's when they're updating their browser or updating their system, the icons get lost. So I'm hoping packaging them as applications will allow them to not be lost when they're doing system updates. And that's part of, I've, I'm talking about, I mentioned in another video, how stupid it is how web browsers save links now. Because it used to be, and you can still do it on, on like desktops if you do it the proper way, the way I'm saying it proper way, where you create an icon, say, open up this website, either with a default browser or if you want to specify a browser. Nowadays, you create, especially on mobile devices, let's say I have Brave Browser or Firefox or whatever, I say, add link to home screen or shortcut to home screen. And it doesn't just make an, an icon that links to that web page. It basically adds that web page to a database with an ID and then as an icon for that specific browser and that ID. So when you click on it, it goes to the browser and says, okay, what website is this ID? And then it loads it, which is ridiculous. Because if you ever clear your cache or apparently doing some updates or move to a new system and you try to copy all that information and certain browsers like Brave Browser don't let you do a standard uh, backup of the application, it gets lost. And I think they're just trying to force you to use their browsers and not flip-flop between browsers. Anyway, I'm rambling a bit, but I'm just explaining why uh, I'm going down this route. And uh, I still hate it in some ways, but at least I'm learning stuff and uh, I'm learning more about permissions in the applications and how the applications are built. I don't plan on building, you know, these big applications because, again, I wouldn't waste my time designing something as an APK that can't run on other things, but I can wrap other programs I've written uh, in other languages so that I can take it that's for, uh, you know, that runs on any system and just basically package it up as an APK to run on Android devices so people can install it that way. So I'm going to be doing a lot of that stuff. So again, a lot of bootloader stuff, partition stuff, rooting stuff, changing boot animation, uh, creating applications like Hello World stuff from script, packaging up websites as APKs, uh, modifying APKs, creating something with Godot and then modifying the APK to give it other permissions and do other things. Uh, so, you know, a lot of hacky stuff. So uh, I hope, I hope even if you're not interested in Android development, um, maybe, maybe this will help you because even if you're not interested in doing it, it's nice to know it. So, you know, you can understand these other um, programs out there. Uh, yeah, in case you wanted to, you know, add to or modify, just, just modifying an APK that someone else created uh, or an application for Android someone else created. So, yeah, that's what's coming up.
uh, over the next couple months. So I'm not leaving, you know, like I said, every Saturday, I'm going to be doing whatever I normally do, uh, standard Linux videos on different topics. But then Wednesday, at least for the next couple of months, uh, is going to be Android stuff. So don't hate me. If you're not interested in Android, just skip those videos or watch them and maybe learn something. Thanks for watching, and as always, I hope that you have a great day. Filmsbychris.com. Be sure to subscribe so you don't miss any of what I'm talking about, and have a great day.